Hey guys, this is Dave with Moneyology. Hope everyone is doing very well today. This is Wednesday, October 4th, 2017, and we're going to do a biotech sector review with some of the top picks in the sector. So we want to start off here with Cleveland Biolab CBLI. Uh, this is a nice looking name that's uh, had a very nice break out of a base that it was building for about two years. And we broke out in April time frame and now we've been consolidating for a better half of six months and now we finally feel like we're starting to find some legs again. Uh, we're above the middle Bollinger Band and the MACDs have crossed above zero and uh, it's, it's starting to show momentum on multiple time frames and so this is a nice risk reward entry where uh, the the stop loss should be set below the middle Bollinger Band of 305 the upside in the short run is five dollars but it, we think that this ultimately breaks the five dollar mark and heads towards that ten dollar mark uh, down the road so one to keep an eye out for next on the list is Concordia International Corp this is not uh, of, of this list it's not uh, the the best looking chart but what I will point out for educational purposes as all these videos are is it did break out of a downtrend we've been basing above this uh, breakout point here around that one dollar mark and now we're finding some RSI uh, positive RSI divergence where RSI today is as basically as high as it was when prices won 180, 210, 350 and it's showing some MACD strength and money flows moving in a positive direction wouldn't be surprised if this one starts moving soon uh, for us it's not a it's, we're not really looking at it uh, as, as one of our stronger candidates but if it breaks above the Bollinger Band at 134 it could have some very nice upside towards this $2, uh, $2 to $3 mark. So keep an eye on this one. Next on the list is Contravere Pharmaceuticals, CTRV. This one has built a very nice base since its uh, sharp decline in uh, April of this year. But it's finally broke above the, the MACDs above zero. And no surprise, we had a very strong move so far this week, 44%. Not bad at all. We're above the uh, the middle uh, 50 RSI level on the weekly, which is what typically happens when we cross the 50 level is it coincides with these big moves. And so let's have a look at what happens. If it can close the week above 75, we're most likely going to make a run towards that $1 mark in the coming weeks. Uh, and uh, this could be the start of a new uptrend. It could be simply the start of a gap fill towards a $2 range. But this one has some nice upside. The one thing I'll point out, is very often when you cross the zero on a weekly MACD, there is often a consolidative um, move back to kind of the middle Bollinger Band. So this might, this one might pull back a little bit. So uh, be on the, be aware of that uh, because a lot of a lot of folks know that this is a very simple indicator. And so when the amateurs jump on and start trading this, well, these computers start uh, washing people out. So uh, you might want to initiate a position, but don't go. Uh, all in before you uh, get confirmation. Next on the list is Corbus Pharmaceuticals CRPB. This one has been building a very nice base and now it's starting to show some momentum again. It's above the middle Bollinger Band. It's got three, four, four hammer patterns here on the weekly. The MACDs are starting to move towards multi-year highs and uh, it's starting to show some accumulation here as well. And so there's, we think that there's a strong possibility that we're going to make a run towards $10 in the coming weeks ahead. Next on the list is Cyclocell Pharmaceuticals, CYCC. This one is very interesting. It's been basing for several months now after a sharp decline. And now the MACDs are curling towards the zero marker. And uh, if this can break the middle Bollinger Band around, uh, around 2, 2, 2, right now it's at 269. But really if this breaks above the, the 250 area, this can make a very strong move to the upside. If you're a contrarian and you want to buy in here and, and, and kind of make a make just play that move towards 250, that's a possibility as well. Uh, but uh, this one may have some very nice upside in the coming weeks ahead. Again, we do this on weekly time frame. If you want to look at daily and hourly indicators, you might have opportunities in the short run as well. Next on the list is Satori Therapeutics, CYTX. This one has been killed over the last several months. But now we, we think that it's starting to uh, gain steam again. And if this can break above that 30, 30 uh, line on the RSI, and if MACDs continue curling above towards, uh, towards zero, we think that this might have a very strong move. For us to get long, we want it to break above that 68 level on the weekly RSI. But again, if your time frame is daily or hourly, there could be some opportunity there. Next on the list is Cytosorbens Corp CTSO. 
Uh, it's just been building a very solid stair step formation over the last couple of months since April. RSI is continually making new highs. Uh, there is some slight divergence here, so you want to be wary of that. Where we're at a higher point than we were here, but uh, RSI hasn't confirmed that, so we might pull back some. Uh, and and if that's the case, use that as an opportunity to add to or or initiate new positions. But I am seeing positive money flow here for the first time in a long time. Accumulation is starting to pick up on the weekly time frame. So a run towards seven dollars is definitely in the cards. Is what interests us is what happens after seven dollars is this going to make a very strong move towards that 15 area 12 to 15 it's a very strong possibility so uh, keep this one on your radar next on the list is citrix corp cytr we've been kind of killed in this one so uh, we may just stay away just for from a karma standpoint but uh, this one is starting to show signs of life. It's consolidating here above this breakout point on RSI level around 40. And that's a very, uh, very important indicator. We made a run towards 50 and we uh, got pushed back so far. But this might be an indication that you know some folks are starting to get back in uh, for, for expectations of a move higher. This has a tremendous amount of institutional support and very strong investor backed this at $1.10. So right around here, uh, and we've pulled back and there's a reverse split possibility and so there, there's a lot of corporate nonsense going on but if this breaks above 50 and certainly above that middle Bollinger band at 58 this gets interesting again ultimately there's a lot of uh, just fundamental potential if management can get things straightened out next on the list is dare bioscience d-a-r-e this has been basing for a while and it's had this crazy move here from 3 all the way to 1240. I know they had a name change around here, uh, but now we've backed down to the basically 250 to $3 range. But MACDs are starting to curl towards a break above zero. And, uh, and RSI has been basically solid, solidly holding that 40 level despite um, dropping from 1240 all the way back to 250. So uh, this one might have a strong move in play the the middle Bollinger Band of 386 is the is the marker you want to keep an eye on for uh, for uh, as far as a longer term time frame. But again, if your time frame is daily or hourly, this is one you want to have on your radar. Um, there could be some very nice moves in the coming days ahead. Next on the list is Dexterra Surgical. This isn't a clear downtrend, but it's now above the middle Bollinger Band, and that's important. If it can hold this 25 level and and possibly break above this declining RSI line, this can be uh, your indicator that a uh, very strong up move could be in the cards. Uh, obviously, it's got a lot of volume here over the last com last months uh, over in 2017, and uh, it's declined tremendously, you know, for the last five years but maybe it's starting to turn things around and so for us to get long on this one you want to see RSI poke above this line if it does that's confirmation uh, that you want to get long this name for a very nice run next on the list is Discerna Pharmaceuticals DRNA beautiful name uh, it's we basically been it's been on several of our watch lists multi-year base and we finally broke out above this base and basically no signs of turning back once this broke above this multiple RSI top over here around that 60 level that's why we had this very powerful move uh, can we consolidate back towards the five level absolutely so uh, you know when something is very overbought it's a possibility that this overbought condition work needs to work itself off however with MACDs at three-year highs uh, or multi-year highs, accumulation really picking up on the long-term time frame. Uh, cash money, cash money flow index very, very green territory. Wouldn't be surprised if this makes a run towards 10 before uh, having any consolidation. So this is one that you definitely want want to consider. Finally, on this particular watch list is Dynasil Corp DYSL. It's uh, it's been consolidating for basically three years um, after a rounding base and kind of a long term cup and handle, um, and finally we we're seeing kind of a another kind of cup and handle here, and uh, it it tried it tried to attempted a very strong move. I don't know if this was a fat finger or some sort of. Uh, news release came out but it wasn't whatever happened here who knows but if this can break above this break and close above this this little um, triangle formation this pennant formation 
uh, for us a move about above about 140 to 150 then there is there is a lot of open space here to make a run towards that 220 level again no surprise that whatever happened here uh, I don't know if this is a mistake but if not that this is where we've met resistance but why we like this is RSI showing showing momentum it's showing positive divergence RSI frankly has broken above this downtrend already and RSI almost always leads uh, leads price look at the volume here that's great um, money flows moving in a positive direction and so this could be the beginning of a very very nice move in Dinosil guys I really appreciate all your support and all your feedback you've been providing us on stock twits and on Twitter uh, what we're doing now is we're running a Patreon campaign that uh, let me see where we got it, where we have it here um, somewhere here here we go uh, so the Patreon campaign Patreon is kind of like Kickstarter for artists and what what we want to do is if you guys like my work and you want to support my work please don't do so on Patreon you can do a monthly recurring contribution which will be converted uh, into a website once we hit a thousand dollars in monthly contributions our goal is five thousand a month and that will turn that will allow us to hire some very good technical experts it allow us to create a very nice website and really create an educational platform that I think will be second to none so uh, if you if you want to be part of this community this is a great opportunity uh, we, we're kind of in this together so let's make something special happen again go to patreon and we're gonna have a link in the show notes uh, down below and so thank you for the support uh, please do follow up follow us on stock twits subscribe to our videos on YouTube and uh, and Twitter as well thanks so much and have us have yourself a great rest of the week